It's uh, Jared, Jared Rourke, and I'm a good old electrician, a bit mad keen fisho, a little bit obsessive, as you know, the boat's name's Obsession. Down South Sydney in the beautiful Port Hacking, so Southwest Arm, the uh, Dickey Semifly 32, custom built New Zealand sports fishing machine. It was the only thing I could find that actually could do cruising with a family, serious sports fishing, plus long distance travel at sea. So, shoot down to Jarvis Bay in two and a half hours using two litres of nautical mile, you just can't beat those, those stats. So the boat weighs about five to six tonnes, fully loaded, extremely light for this size boat, hence the fuel efficiency, and that's the advantage of the aluminium. It's about 10.7 well, metres in length. It's an aluminium hull, which no one can pick. With the way it's finished in the factory, you can see it's just absolutely immaculate. You can't see a piece of aluminium anywhere on the entire vessel, so quite unique. Any of the fish hose that go on it, they notice straight away the ride, and with a plumb bow, it's a great, great ocean boat. And then when you go out the Friends, they're all thinking they're on a bloody Riviera sports cruiser, so it's quite funny. Yeah, so the finish on this boat is by far the best I've ever seen. Every little detail is perfect. They use the highest quality materials. Everything's lightweight, durable. There, there is no expense spared. We've got the Corian bench tops, this new vinyl fabric that's just, it looks like something you get out of a Bentley sports car. The real selling point for this boat for me was I can literally head down to Jarvis on a Friday night. It's about an 80 nautical mile trip using 160 litres of diesel, which is just unheard of. The other thing is we're going not at 8 or 12 knots in economical cruising speed, 28 knots all the way down. So you're saving time, you're going quick and you're using no petrol. Nothing does that on the market that I'm aware of. She's powered by a, a Volvo D370 stern drive. Reason for that engine choice is because of the amazing fuel efficiency. It is 100% perfectly balanced. So it's the ideal engine choice for this vessel. As an ocean going boat, the ride is completely different to anything I've been on and it's the best ride by far. Perfect cruising speed in this boat is that 24, 25 knot mark, which is quite high and amazingly more fuel efficient than going at probably 17 knots. And you're getting sort of a top wad of about 33 knots, which is moving along. The boat's not built for speed, it's built for efficiency and economy. Yeah, look, another great feature is having those bifold doors. So it opens the entire inside wheelhouse up to the cockpit. So literally we're trolling out the, you know, 30 miles offshore on a nice day and you feel like you're sitting in an apartment just looking out with this amazing view. Nor'easter comes up at 30 knots, shut the doors, hammer in at 25 knots, don't get wet, comfortable ride. You get in, you're like, did we just do that? Got the call up, Blue Marlin bite off Port Stephens. We had an hour to prepare, chucked the gear in, off we went, landed there at eight o'clock at night, fish the next day with the boys. When the rigger went off and Joel was hooked up, first thought was, why the 15? Second thought was, I need to get back on this fish. And literally I'm sitting there at the, at the helm, backing up on this blue that's just rampaging down to the depths. Maneuverability was excellent. There was probably 100 metres left on that spool and it was time to try anything. We did every angle, tried to pull, pull the fish up current, back up on it, circle, but uh, it wasn't looking good. And then to see that last run with that 100 metres disappeared, Joel went flying back. It, it was just typical blue marlin fishing. How many boats can you do? Literally, spur of the minute, jump on, head to Port Stephens, no worries whatsoever fishing with blues the next day. The bang for buck is I have everything that the bigger guys have on their Vikings, the big ribs, but we've got in a 32 footer using a third of the fuel. At the end of the day, for me, it's all about the adventure, fishing with your mates, and to be able to go out with a couple of guys from the captain, Joel Ryan, head up to Port Stephens on an adventure that you've planned two hours in the making, that is what I do it for. That's why I have the boat getting spooled on 15, going, we're never doing that again. It was just such a great, great experience for me. And mate, I would do it again in a heartbeat.